Hey everybody, it's Tim McCamus. We're uh, continuing on with our fabrication series. We, we talked about some tubing and sizing and different material, but I want to skip to the next episode, which is gonna be general tools used for fitment. So we're gonna touch on a lot of different subjects and gonna try to group them into smaller videos so that uh, you guys can kind of pick through them and, and see the ones you want. So since we talked about the tubing, I want to go into the tools used to fit and, and manipulate that tubing as you're building the chassis. So uh, got a small piece of tube here and some tools laid out. Now, this particular uh, tool here is made by Mittler Brothers and it's, it's called their Ultimate Notcher. If you're doing a lot of tubing fitting, this is really a nice tool. It's got a little electric motor in here, these little roughing end mills that we have in different sizes. And it's got this uh, sliding vise, so you clamp your tube in here. So if I want to fit this, I can, you know, I can clamp this tube in here, and then I can turn this on, and I can feed this in here, and fit that tube. So I've got an inch and a quarter cutter in here, an inch and a quarter tube. So I can change the the roughing uh, end mill into a inch and five eighths or inch and a half, depending on what size that um, that I'm fitting to. And then I can also change the angle. So I've got a wrench here and I can, I can loosen this up. And uh, then the little, the little base is degreed. So there's a little degree indicator over here. So if I, if I have, <clears throat> want to put a 65 degree cut in there, I can just turn this little vise to 65 and then lock that down there and then feed that in the same way. So it's really nice. Um, if you're not fitting a lot of tubing, it, it, it might be a little too pricey to have sitting around the shop, but it is a very nice machine. Um, got uh, three or four of these sitting around here. They don't give any trouble. They just cut and they work forever, so they're really nice. Um, but there's lots of other ways to fit tubing also. So um, this is a really nice machine. It's got a nice little table with you can put all the cutters on the bottom. But there are also other pieces that you can use. Um, so to, uh, to cut the tubing to length, you can obviously use a chop saw. You can use a, just a 14 inch abrasive chop saw that will cut the tube to length. But then after you cut it to length, you're going to need to um, shape the fit or cut the end or deburr it. So these tools here, this is just a small group of some of the things that we use in the shop to do that. So um, this is a little uh, 90 degree pneumatic die grinder. Um, it holds a quarter inch bit and then we use these little uh, uh, two inch sanding disc and these are really nice we use thousands of these things and they come in different grits um, so you can depending on what you want to do this has an 80 grit on it now but um, it's probably one of the more common ones we have we have 36 grit um, these are really nice for deburring a tube uh, so after you cut it with that chop saw, you might, you know, you got a square cut on the end, you might want to knock it off with this. These are really nice. They're not very expensive and they last forever. And these little um, uh, discs just lock onto the end. So they've got a little uh, roll pin in there and a slot. So you just slip them in there and just give it a quarter turn. And then it snaps in there. And when you wear out the grid on this, you throw it away and put another one on. They're not very expensive to buy. It's a nice little handy tool. Uh, dual action sander, these are pretty common. This is just a little palm sander. This is good for uh, uh, cleaning up a tube or let's say you're putting a uh, conduit through or something and you want to smooth the uh, tube out. These are good to sand like this. So you get the dual orbital action which gives you a nice finish. So you can just uh, sand that tube and then work it around there and keep from getting any flats on it. So these are nice uh, to use for that. This is a, a Dynabraid uh, belt sander. These are really nice tools. We've got a bunch of these here. We've got different um, uh, size ends. This has got a, uh, a wider belt on it, and uh, it's a little bit shorter. We've got some that are longer with a narrower belt for getting in areas that, uh, that need to be uh, a little tighter con confines. But um, this is really nice. These are This Dynabraid stuff's all USA made. And you can see this one's been beat to shit because these guys use them every day around here. But they last forever. You don't have to do any work to them. They're good for, you know, like if you want to get in here and, and grind a little corner out or notch a little bit. Or this little bull nose on the end's got a rubber tipped wheel in there. So it's really nice for getting in and sanding like this or doing some fine fitment. 
on a small tube. They're really handy, like if you got a little half inch tube and you wanna just notch the end of it, you can just touch it with this nose. Or it's also got these flat pads here on the side for sanding like this. So if, you're, if you wanna smooth something out. Um, these are expensive, but they are worth the money uh, because they have so many different uses. These are great for sanding 4130 carbon fiber, aluminum, they will, they will work for anything. So these get used constantly around here. Um, this, is a, uh, this is another quarter inch die grinder. This is actually, uh, these are USA made also. Um, this comes from a company called St. Louis Pneumatic. So they're made right here in St. Louis. And uh, you can see these things get thrown around here a lot and they're beat up and they, they work really good. But this is, this is good. This is a uh, inch and a half drum on here and uh, just a little compression fit. So when you turn it counterclockwise, it loosens up and then you can slip this band off here and put a new one on. So these are really good for fitting like this, or fitting like this. This is nice, so I need to fit a little more. So I'll take this, spin this thing up and just cut that off right, right out of there. And then since it's inch and a half, it's kind of close to the size tube because a lot of these tubes are inch and a half and inch and five eighths. So this is a really handy tool. Obviously, same similar type of tool. This is a uh, quarter inch die grinder. Um, these are really good for uh, putting in a cross conduit or, or any kind of little small, let's say you're uh, putting in a drive shaft loop and you, you hole saw for the bushings to go in, you can go in and clean it up with, these, uh, with a quarter inch die grinder. With a small bit like this or one uh, maybe a half inch in diameter, they're really good to clean up some holes or some cut throughs. And then this is just a standard uh, four and a half inch uh, electric grinder. These are really good for, um, these are pretty common for fitting. Now this one, uh, <clears throat> so I've got a used uh, uh, disc on here. And when you put a new disc on, they're gonna be, uh, they're really square on the corner. So they're, they're fit, they're thick and they're square. And they're really not worth a shit for fitting with. So um, when we put one on, we'll take a scrap piece of metal and we'll go and grind on that and knock that corner off and kind of turn it in. This shape here has been used quite a bit, but it's ideal because see how it fits in there? It's, it's really nice. You can fit that and grind that out and you can actually turn that corner like that and, and fit that. If it's got a square corner, it wants to dig in and it makes a nasty fit. So this is kind of a seasoned uh, disc but it's got lots and lots more cutting in it and it fits in the corner good, okay? So um, these are some of the uh, tools that we use just to uh, fit the tubing with. So we'll use this to rough cut. We might use some of these to, uh, uh, we might notch this in here, then take this uh, four and a half inch grinder and deburr it and then fit it on the chassis and um, and then it might need a little more fitting or a little change in angle or something like that. So uh, this is a good rundown of stuff. And uh, as long as you keep uh, oil in these and it's a little uh, pneumatic uh, air motor oil, these things will last forever and uh, won't give you any trouble. So that's the end of this episode on tools. Uh, kind of check this out and uh, let us know what you think.